back to a brand new video. So we're in the south side of Blackpool this morning. I was going to come down here um, first thing, but there's uh, other things I had to sort out. But yeah, we're in the, uh, the south side. We're going to have a, a very, very brief look at the old Woolworth store. Because I'd imagine all this is now being completed. Um, see some an old Hoover there and a, a fire. Yeah, so uh, that leads to the uh, the rear, that street just to the uh, right. So one of a, I'll get a, a very quick look at this Woolworth store. This is to be uh, the last video uh, we'll be doing on this one, um, unless it gets sort of development starts coming in, and we'll have a, a bit of a gander. But yeah, this is the uh, the last one. So we'll have a, a quick look, and just see um, how everything. Is done so I'd imagine they will be uh, finished now. So let's just uh, whip the camera around to the, uh, the right hand side, and you can see the whole lot has now gone to all the, uh, the builders, and everybody is uh, completely finished the work. So there used to be a wall just along here, and looks like they've, uh, they've built this new wall. You see, I saw them doing that about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Looks like they've, uh, they've done that, but so, this was scaffolding is still up. And uh, but yeah, but the whole lot is now gone. So it looks like they've uh, just put a, like a, a, a surface of hardcore just on the top. Like I say, you still see the uh, the scaffolding um, just uh, just forward. But yeah, everything on this one is now uh, completely finished and uh, ready for development. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to head a bit more towards the uh, the south pier, have a, a bit of a, a look around, um, because there's not much really going on this time. No, it's a very crisp morning this morning, very crisp. So yeah, we're going to have a, a bit of a, a bit of a look near the uh, the south side. You see, looks like somebody has uh, lost the football, just in there, that colourful ball, and even a, a drinks can. Looks like they've been having a few drinks in there, in there. Yeah, you still see the, uh, the scaffolding up um, on that house. I imagine there was one that was, one that was knocking down, there was a few bricks and everything, so it was all adjoined. So, so that's uh, a little bit of work ongoing with that one. And again, we've got that little uh, sea fresh fish and chips. Got all the little, uh, all the little shops and everything, what once was, all the cafes. You can see there, like a, an antique shop once over, another little cafe. So we've certainly got, you know, a fair selection and uh, a good bit of history along this stretch of the road. See, what a, what a cold morning. It's coming in the car and it's three degrees this morning. Three degrees, you certainly uh, feel the nip in the air when you're, when you're walking along. So we're gonna have a, a quick look at um, this one because uh, there was a boat here last time I was here. And there's, this, there's this boat being sort of like dumped and looks like we've got even uh, more mattresses. Looks like people have uh, just fly tipped along here. We've got fridge freezers. And you can see there's all sorts now appeared, so the boat is still there. But it looks like there's more and more things being added um, to this one. You see the, uh, the mattresses and uh, all sorts. Look at that. So again, it's just rows and rows of these, uh, these shops. What have gone, it's such a shame. Oh, see how they are, all sorts. I don't think there's like one shop really open on the right hand side. So this area certainly needs a, 
a bit of loving, a bit of TLC, and a bit of thought and effort. So you see here, some work has been carried on this. That looks, that looks really nice, the brickwork. You know, so some of these are certainly having a, a bit of a go at that one, and that's a nice one. But yeah, it's going back to this, uh, this building. You can see the, uh, the whole of the, uh, even next door, is uh, completely gone as well. So that's a huge, huge project. Look at that, you see birds nesting away in there. So we just arrived at the, uh, the South Pier and uh, this is 492 feet long. So that's uh, certainly a long pier. Uh, and like I said, it's, uh, it's incredible. And it was actually renamed the South Pier in 1930. And uh, it was actually open on a Good Friday, 1893. So you see it's well over, you know, that's what, 100, 131 years. If, uh, if my maths is correct. And like I said, it's uh, all sorts of uh, the rides and attractions um, and it's fitting because it's uh, right next to uh, the Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So like I said, you can go on there and also you can, uh, if the adrenaline's not enough on the Pleasure Beach, you can certainly go on the, uh, go on the South Pier. And just look at that. Look at that, you see the, uh, the tower, it looks like it's on the, uh, the left hand side of your picture. And you see the, uh, the coast, sort of, the, uh, the line spans all the way along. And again, a wonderful, wonderful shot first thing in the morning. So, I mean, the, the South Pier is not without its, uh, its history and, uh, you know, sort of sad times in 1958. Uh, there was a huge fire which uh, damaged the uh, the pavilion, um, and then it was uh, it was actually used as a, an arcade apparently. Um, and like I said, the Grand Theatre um, burned down one night on the 17th of February, 1958, and it, you know it not only destroyed the, uh, the you know the Grand Pavilion, it destroyed the uh, the shops and the bars. But uh, nevertheless, nevertheless, that setback, um, it was quickly rebuilt. And like I said, you can actually walk right underneath there. This, you see these uh, huge, like, uh, sort, of, you know, sort of steps. So, you know, if you wanted to, you can have a, a bit of a walk right the way through, right underneath the pier, and uh, carry on um, up the coastline. Like I said, it's, uh, it's quite amazing. Just. Look at the uh, the huge bolts and the uh, the amount of steel what goes in to supporting the uh, the pier, and this runs all the way along. So there's certainly a lot of steel, and uh, you know, so the the structure, uh, like I said, just to support the uh, the pier underneath is uh, quite quite incredible. So I hope you're enjoying this uh, video so far. Like I said, uh, a bit of a look around the, uh, the south side of Blackpool and just uh, something a little different than the, uh, the standard, you know, the north side and the, uh, the comedy carpet. And uh, it is nice just to, uh, to see what's going on in the, uh, in the rest of Blackpool. You can see it's a, a very murky start, very sort of like, a, like that mist. So I'm sure that will uh, eventually dissipate um, as the sun hopefully breaks through on this uh, really nice morning. So as we uh, follow the tram around, we're now away from the uh, the sea. I was going to have a, a quick look to see the. Uh, the Pleasure Beach, just uh, in the distance. We've got the uh, Sandcastle Water Park. We've got the Grosvenor Casino. So we've got all sorts up this end of uh, South Shore. 
However, you know, it doesn't get quite as busy as the, uh, the north side and the central side of Blackpool. I mean, once the, uh, the Pleasure Beach is closed down, you know, there's not really much up this end. You know, we've got the, uh, the Sankhouse water bottle, yeah, fair enough. A few little other little attractions, but you know, once the main one is closed down, and then, uh, you know, there's not much life um, as the north side. So it's actually quite noisy around this uh, this uh, area near the place because there's lots and lots of work going on. And, uh, what a horrible noise that is. It's like if it's, uh, you know, it's what, being sandblasted. And, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, there's always something going on in the Pleasure Beach and always work being carried out but it's a shame they don't let people walk around uh, for free you know that will certainly bring a lot more people up this side of, uh, of Blackpool and as we uh, whip around we'll have a, a quick look over the wall so we can just see anything because we've certainly not going to be paints going over and it's even open yeah There we go, that's the uh, one that looks like is having a, a lot of work doing to it. So I was going to head uh, briefly back onto the, uh, the promenade, but I thought I'd just show you some of the, uh, the other hotels and B&Bs. We've got the, uh, the South Beach Apartments, Osborne Luxury Suites, and we've got all sorts of little uh, guest houses uh, along this stretch, you know, Granada Apartments. Let me know if you've ever stayed in any of these. I mean, a lot of them look to be still open. And, uh, you know, it'd be fantastic. It'd be amazing just going back in history and just looking at the streets, how busy they used to be years and years ago. You know, the, uh, the Crown Hotel. Looks like that's uh, possibly flats maybe now. Uh, but yeah, we've got all sorts, all sorts along this way. And also we've got the... Uh, the travel lodge, whip the camera around to the, uh, the left, you can see the travel lodge is there. I'd imagine, you know, like the, uh, the big blue hotel in all sorts would have took a lot of trade away from these uh, little small ones. But, you know, to be fair, I think I'd rather stay in one of these. You feel more, more at home. San Diego guest house, look at that one. You know, all these always ones, you know, Buzzing with life, you know, a, a hive. So yeah, I'd like to whip back onto the uh, the uh, the promenade briefly, and uh, we'll close the uh, the video out. Cause like I said, there's a you know it's, it's a nice little place, the uh, the south side. Plenty of going on, and uh, there's always something to do. Like I said many times. In Blackpool, you see we've got the uh, the Velvet Coaster directly in front, and that's a, that's a fantastic one. Like the, the Weather Spoons, you know, they do fantastic breakfasts, the cheap coffees, refillable coffees. That's certainly what you need uh, first thing on a cold morning. So again, you know, there's just uh, street after street of these wonderful little uh, guest houses, each one with their own carry. So look at that, the. Uh, the Maria Villa Hotel, like I said, you know, there's a street after street in Blackpool. And uh, you know, each one, like I said, have uh, got their own little characteristics uh, with them. But yeah, like I said, sadly, a lot of these have gone, but you know, a lot are still open. So let me know if you have stayed around this area in the past. And, uh, you know, would you, would you revisit, would you restay in the hotel or B&B you stayed in before? So I hope you enjoyed this, a uh, bit of a short video, but a bit of a, a walk around the, uh, the south side. And uh, like I said, uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget, hit that, um, that like button. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And uh, any comments, I will try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And until next time, take care of yourselves. And it is a bye from me. Bye bye.